Ottawa is a relatively young city having been founded only in 1855. The city stands on the south bank of the Ottawa River and became the capital city of Canada with a confederation in 1867. The city has a population of 1 million residents and has the highest standard of living and the lowest unemployment rate in Canada. Because of the numerous educational institutions, research and cultural centers, it is a much sought after destination for students from all over the world and the city reflects that vibrant. The south and the north banks of the Ottawa River are sewn together by the Point Alexander Bridge. The Ottawa River becomes a huge skating rink in winter. The Rideau Canal, which drains into the Ottawa River, was established in the early 19th century as a military construct to link Ottawa to Lake Ontario and St. Lawrence River. It is now used primarily for pleasure boating. The magnificent Chateau Laurier Hotel was originally a Canadian Pacific Railway hotel. Now it is privately managed. I was in Ottawa, very specifically Gatineau, which is the twin city of Ottawa, for a couple of days during my trans-Canadian expedition. Those two days, I took time off to walk around and explore the beauty of Ottawa. Besides the magnificent Parliament building that looms large over the city because it is on a hill, on the Parliament Hill, so to say. It is visible from almost everywhere in the city. The Peace Tower, the Library Building, all these are classic, iconic buildings. Besides that, when you walk around, you come across the Napian Point, where there is a huge statue of the founder, Samuel de Champlain, who is said to have explored that area in the year 1610. Besides that, there are a lot of uh, uh, statues around the place. Within uh, a stone's throw away is the National Gallery of Canada and the uh, National Art Centre. Prime amongst the places to visit in Parliament Hill is the Terry Fox statue, the Bank of Canada Museum, the Majors Hill Park, the Byward Market, the Notre Dame Basilica, the Supreme Court of Canada, the Royal Canadian Mint, the Canadian Museum of History, which is a visit that will take a more than a day, I would say, if you really want to do justice to that uh, amazing structure. The structure itself is worth uh, admiring because of its huge, huge uh, uh, ceilings and the kind of displays that they have. And at the time that I was visiting, uh, a special uh, uh, exhibition of uh, the Neanderthals was uh, available and that was a real, real eye-opener. I must say that uh, a visit to the uh, Canadian Museum of History is a must. Another uh, interesting uh, exhibition there is the Children's uh, Museum. Uh, mostly, you know, you will find uh, children uh, going around there and uh, accompanied by uh, mostly their mothers, but uh, sometimes by their fathers. But I would say that it was an eye-opener for me as an adult even. It brought back memories of my childhood and I only wished that I had such a fantastic museum to learn things about the geography and history and various aspects of various countries in the world. It was an amazing visit, I must say. Besides this, you know, you have the peacekeeping monument, the War of 1812 monument, the brilliantly painted York Steps, and the mouth-watering pastry shop, the Beaver Tape. These and many more I explored during the two days that I was in uh, uh, Ottawa. Actually, I stayed in Gatineau because the accommodations in Gatineau are much cheaper than if you were to stay in Ottawa. It was a fantastic visit. I'm taking you on a, on a video tour of these uh, fantastic uh, sites that I saw during these two days in uh, the stay in the stay in uh, Gatineau and the visit to Ottawa.